always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Next Weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera joins us with the full forecast. Are we going to play a game? Oh, we're going to do it. <laughs> How hot is it, everybody? <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, let's see. Let's see where the needle stops. Oh, almost. Uh, we're halfway between blazing and scorcher. That is going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel about 105 to 107. We did that today. Now, it can get worse. We've had days where we've had, you know, excessive heat warnings, and that means the temperatures feel like about 108 to 112. So that's when we can pin that needle there. Thankfully not tomorrow, but still this is going to be hot enough. And if you spend even just a few minutes outside and uh, particularly if you're not acclimated to this, this is uh, going to hurt. And it's uh, in fact uh, literally going to be that way. That's how it's going to feel to the skin tomorrow. So be careful. Miami Dade Broward has that alert that has been extended through tomorrow at seven o'clock. We are all in the low 90s. If we had low humidity and we were not in Florida here, we'd be doing just fine because 90 would not feel bad. But we are in Florida and we're surrounded by water temperatures in the the upper 80s to low 90s, so that makes it feel in the triple digits. Southeast wind always going to favor showers and storms across the other side of the peninsula. Places like Naples uh, will get in on some heavy rainfall the next few days because we are going to get those morning showers, overnight showers, and then transition into some inland thunderstorms. But every few hours or so, we get these little fast moving showers that come in across Broward County, so that's something we'll watch for the rest of the evening. In fact, on Rain Tracker, you don't have to imagine that there are a few there, and this one's going to try to make a move on us here as we head to through a tonight. So it's one of those deals where 10, 11, midnight, you start driving, and uh, or you're at home, uh, and uh, you start hearing the rain, and so that's the way it's going to be. As far as the plume of Saharan dust, we have a little pocket over us now, and then a very concentrated plume comes in as we head into the latter part of the weekend and into early next week. This one here tends to dissipate or at least loses the concentration. So we're getting into towards the end of the season where the dust doesn't go completely away across the eastern Atlantic, but the fact that it's lower concentration as far as how much dust is in the air doesn't make it all the way to the Atlantic and into Florida. Here's where we're going to be. Look at this nice little pocket of drier or less humid, less moisture available in the atmosphere. And then things that continue like that on Saturday before we get back into some purples here and definitely rain chances going up. You'll see that on the seven day forecast uh, by the time we get into Sunday and into a uh, Monday. There is what I'm talking about. Rain showers thunderstorms coalescing across the uh, central part of the peninsula and then shifting over to the south and west. That's the way things are going to go, not just for tomorrow, uh, but uh, heading into uh, the next uh, couple of days. Frequency goes way up as we head into August because of those two factors we talked about. A lot of dust out there still, but a few waves are trying to get going, although no tropical systems expected over the next seven days. Forecast in for you for tomorrow. We'll have temperatures into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. It'll feel with the heat advisory again like a about 105 to 107. We'll keep it that way Friday. Low rain chances, and then uh, we'll bump those up a little bit Sunday, heading into early next week.